I just ran the Llama 4 Maverick model with 1 million context window over the entire PyTorch repository and the results are pretty cool. In case you missed it, Meta launched the Llama 4 family just last week. And here is a 30 second tour of the three new models that they launched. The first one is Llama 4 Scout, which is the lean mixture of experts model that fits in a single GPU and is said to have a 10 million token context window. It's meant to be for edge and on-device tasks. Then the second model is Llama 4 Maverick, which is a 400 billion parameter 128 expert MOE model that I'll also be demoing today which has a 1 million context window. Then the third one is the Llama 4 Behemoth which is Meta's giant teacher model which is still training and is being previewed as the next frontier in open weight research. Now for the demo what I did was I made Llama 4 compete with Llama 3.3 which only has a 120k context window. And here is what I observed. With a single prompt, Llama 4 Maverick instantly knows every file header, import graphs, utility functions, and the core data flow across the entire code base. It seamlessly traces the torch dot distributed hooks into optimizers, follows the data loader calls into torch underscore utils, and maps out the cross module helpers, all without having to manually stitch together multiple slices or build complex retrieval layers. In contrast with Llama 3.3's smaller 128 token model, you're stuck doing the piecemeal analysis. Analysis. This means that you have to split the repository into multiple slices, run them separately and then manually merge the insights. It means potentially missing important connections, overlooking global patterns and dealing with inconsistent naming. Here's where the true 1 million token window shines in my opinion. 1. If you're doing a mono repository audit and architecture review, it is able to instantly map out hundreds of packages and modules at once. Second, if you're doing a large-scale refactoring planning, it is able to clearly identify logical splits based on the actual import and use its statistics. Third, it is really good at deep debugging and call stack tracing. It is able to effortlessly track the tensor.backend from Python API down through the C++ bindings and into the CUDA kernels. And finally, this is helpful if you're trying to do a research paper or a multiple document analysis where you're ingesting and analyzing dozens of documents simultaneously for global summarization. If you're curious about the detailed experimentation results comparing these two models, check out the blog for deeper insights and the full comparison. And a quick reminder, while 1 million token window is incredibly powerful for monolithic analysis, RAG or retrieval augmented generation still plays a crucial role for handling dynamic and large scale knowledge basis beyond the windows limit. Having a 1 million or a 10 million context window for a model does not mean drag is dead. And if you want to try out Llama 4 models, you can try them out on Meta AI, Hugging Face or even Fireworks AI. That's where I tested it out.